until I did the empowerments, um, my life was pretty roller coaster, kind of like um, very bumpy and sometimes smooth, sometimes rough. Um, and um, I just had a very interesting life as an Indian young girl growing up in India. You know, my, my family situation wasn't really like um, the normal family situation you see in all the Bollywood movies where I've, all the family's together and everybody's super happy and singing. Um, <laughs> it wasn't like that at all. Um, my father died at a very early age. My mom left me at a very early age. Um, I was abandoned almost by my entire family. I experienced sexual abuse within the family. And uh, it was really, really hard, you know. I was very jealous and sad looking at all the families that were good and happy and together because I didn't have one. And, you know, most families in India, they're pretty together. You know, the grandparents and uncles and aunts, they're all together. Um, but I didn't have that, so I was very internally oppressed and depressed with my existence. So I just pretty much ran all over, like all four corners of the world to run away from my family, from my hometown. And I was always looking for something that I needed to fix within myself because I really had emotions and sensations that felt horrible. And um, so I tried many things to fix this internal feelings and emotions. Um, I went to do ayahuasca for one month in Peru and um, I felt amazing right after, but you know, it didn't really last for very long. And then I had to do a, more ayahuasca and more, probably did ayahuasca 30, 40 times in my life. But it didn't really bring this inner ease and you know, good feeling with everything. So, yeah, then I heard, you know, after my long search throughout my life, looking to not feel what I was feeling and fix this internal feelings, I, um, I came across Balance View and um, I came across 12 Empowerments and I did the 12 Empowerments and um, it was just mind blowing, you know, there's no training in the world where you actually sit down for days where you really write every thought of yours, every sensations, you know, you put it on paper and you look at them, you know, you write about all your relationships that are disharmonious, you know, you don't do that anywhere and nowhere you're really told that it's totally okay for them to be there, you know. You're your sensations are okay, your emotions are okay, your thoughts are okay as they are and there's nothing to be done because everywhere else you're just told to do something about it. And I, I was just like for the first time, wow, actually it's all okay. I don't really have to change anything. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to run to another country anymore and you know, find another therapy or whatever. So it just really made me, for the first time, be easeful and be totally okay with whatever there was and not waste any more time and money trying to fix this, you know. And I really learned how to be okay with all my data streams, all my emotions and sensations, and that they really didn't have power over me unless I gave them, you know, and all my life I gave them power. But now I came to a place that I don't, they don't, I'm not going to be a victim of all these emotions and sensations and thoughts. And um, yes, and it started to make me look at my relationship with myself first time, with looking at that and being okay with however I was and whatever data I had in myself, I suddenly felt at complete relaxation and ease and okay. And then I could look at relationship with my brother and mother and sister and I stopped blaming them from what I was feeling. I stopped blaming the world for what I was feeling. I stopped blaming India. And now I can really, really relate to them from a place of real love, you know. I, I feel real love towards myself and them. And 
I don't focus on, on the negatives anymore. I focus on the positive and, you know, what they did do for me instead of what they didn't. I stop blaming them and I have much better relations I ever had before.